Hey, what's up guys? I uh, got another video. Um, today, we're uh, not doing any figure stuff. We're going back to the games, going digital. Got that Tales of Symphonia HD collection here. Um, super excited to pre-order uh, pre this months and months and months ago when I heard about it. Super ecstatic for it because I played the original on the GameCube. Uh, I have it right here, the original copy. Um, this was my first game that I had the experience of, hey, you should pre-order that. You shouldn't just walk, try to walk into the store and get that. Uh, I was in sixth grade when this came out, 2003 this came out, and um, I was reading about it in EGM, the magazine. I know I don't know if kids watching now know what magazines are. Uh, I was reading those, very excited about this game, and pre-ordered, or didn't pre-order it, and came in day of, they did not have any copies, so I had to wait a week later, and luckily they even got a second, uh, you know, shipment of these. My dad was like, no, we don't need pre-order, so found out quickly, with this game was, uh, you need to pre-order JRPGs, gotta do them. This game is very special to me, uh, I think the reason it, it's even getting an HD collection is because the battle system is so fine-tuned, so addicting. Uh, the cell shaded graphics were so beautiful at the time, and I'm, I can't wait to see what they look at. The HD collection kind of kept away from like the videos showing what it looks like. It just going to be wowed by this. Um, but just at this time, I was getting an RPG. Final Fantasy X was my first RPG, which that also has an HD collection coming out um, next month, March. I'll be getting. Um, but th th these two games were just really just I, I I was hooked with RPGs with these games. Many people say Chrono Trigger and stuff, that was the generation. I grew up in that time, I could have played those games, but it, it took me till the GameCube days to really figure out that RPGs, JRPGs really like them. Don't play many of them anymore, but th because this is so special to me and stuff, I went ahead and got, finally, uh, this. So, um, I don't like going to GameStop, but this was the only company that had it at the time when the pre-orders went up. I saw Amazon where I usually order, had it later, but uh, didn't want to risk not getting this, didn't want a repeat of the Saren Death, so went ahead and pre-ordered it. Um, this was $99.99, 100 bucks. Um, I didn't play the sequel, the Dawn of the World uh, game, and it's also included here. They did a HD remaster for it. was on the Wii, I think it came out 2006 or 2007. And I watched reviews, I saw what people were saying about it because I was I was fearful that uh, I think they're just piggybacking on the name and I think that's what it ended up being like. If you like the game, um, sorry, that's just kind of what I gathered and uh, I'll try it out now that I have it. I just never bought it on the Wii. But uh, $100 you get the remaster of the original Tales of Symphonia and New World. And you get a bunch of goodies, figures and CDs and all that stuff. So super, super excited to get one of my favorite games of all time, HD Remaster. So let me shut up and let me get in, wrap up into this. So let's go over here and check it out. So I already tore off a corner so I didn't have to spend uh, 30 hours trying to open this up for you. So let's get inside here. This might be a little faster. Um, it comes with like this nice plastic uh, covering which I like because some of these collector editions are just in cardboard boxes and they get banged up. So very uh, glad they decided to put a plastic, that might actually be just pretty standard. You might be laughing at me right now. But I don't get a lot of these JRPG um, collector's editions because they are expensive. And I don't really like a lot of them. But I do like Tales of Symphonia so let me get this out of this plastic coffin here. Oh, that's nice. So, nice little see through thing there. And here it is. I guess I just lift it up. Ooh. Do you guys smell uh, your new stuff? Is that weird? It smells like, I don't know, new. Like a uh, RPG, it smells like a little bit like RPG. So, smells nice. Smell uh, already thumbs up on that. Uh, here on the left is Tales of Symphonia, just the regular remaster. Uh, I like how it's shrink wrapped and they didn't jip us on the shrink wrapped. Right here is the um, the art book, Art of Tales of Symphonia. Um, 
It looks pretty cool. Uh, on the back here is a code for a custom theme for the PS3, so I don't know why they took the whole book and they couldn't just put it in a slip, but it's on the back of the book, right on there, but there's some of the art. Um, and looks pretty cool. Uh, I wish the book would have been bigger, but I think there's something else down there too, so. Uh, let's see. Right here is a Tales of Funny Chronicles. Um, I don't know what this is. I, it's a hard case. And I guess you can put your game in that instead of using the standard. That's really cool, actually. Um, they give you the standard uh, case right here, but if you want, you can just use the this case instead. I like that because sometimes I'll get like a um, collector's edition like The Last of Us I recently reviewed. Um, they just give you the hard um, tin case, but um, sometimes as a collector you want to have everything and they kind of just give it to you. They're like, hey, have both of them. So I've never seen a company do that before, so that's kind of cool. That's really cool. Um, right here, uh, <laughs> it's funny how I'm saying this like I know what's in here. I kind of don't. Um, which you might call me an idiot consumer for doing, but I just, I, I saw that there was figures, I saw there was art book, looked worth my while, and this game is so, means so much to me. Um, uh, here's the soundtrack for the game. So, it's that right here. They have both, uh, oh, that's like been up. There's like something been up in there. Um, I'll shut up now. Uh, the CD, uh, not much to look at, but um, there's four discs of the soundtrack, so really cool. Um, uh, <laughs> really impressed by this so far, so maybe this is standard stuff for JRPGs. I'm sorry if it is. I'm sorry if you're like, this guy's an idiot. This They always do this, so. <laughs> um, and right here. Um, believe yep these are the limited edition figure chibi kyurinchara figures i just call them figures and there is unfortunately a little uh sticker thing so i'm gonna cut real quick so i can get that out because uh i'm an idiot trying to open these up got my box open had to go get my mom to open it just kidding i did it on my own because i'm an adult Buying a hundred dollar uh, tells us Symphonia limited editions. That's what adults do. Let me get some of this other stuff out of the way so I can. Hey, put them in these little <laughs> traps or. Oh shoot! Their heads are off. Oh no! I guess you have to put them together in their little. Oh shoot! They're all like that, beheaded. This is after uh, you get defeated in the game, I guess. Um, but I'll have to put those together and I'll show you that. But that's pretty cool. There's a character I don't know. It's probably from the New World game. And there's Lloyd. There's... Ah, uh, I forget her name. I'm going to be hated. People are going to hate me in the comments. Uh, blonde girl. Um, and the two characters from... Is it Dawn of the New World? Yep, Dawn of the New World. I had to get it right uh, in there also. And the very last thing in the packaging is Tells of Symphonia Successors of Hope. Uh, what the heck is this? I think this is a novel. And there's nine chapters in it. It's a gra uh, original novel. It doesn't say what it is. I think, is this a sequel, I think? I don't know what this is, um, but you get it. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a horrible unboxing video now. Um, but uh, yeah, you get all this cool stuff. I'm excited to get into the book and the soundtrack and all that stuff. So hope you guys um, enjoyed it. Uh, it is $99.99, so uh, pretty steep for a collector's edition. But I think for what you're getting, uh, if you're I, I mean, also, this is a JRPG collector's edition, so uh, I think this will one day be worth a lot of money because they always freaking are. Um, I'm really impressed. I think it's it's cool. I knew I was getting these little figures. I knew I was getting whatever, and 
Uh, I cannot wait to get into the game itself. Um, this really isn't a review for the game itself. Uh, if you're getting this, you've played the original, you know it's good. There's nothing to talk about, really. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you, I just really wanted to show you guys the unboxing of this. I was really excited to get it. And um, put in the comments if you want to see reviews for other things. Uh, I've kind of already just, I mean, stuff that I want, that's what I'll get in a review. Um, again, subscribe and like the video. Uh, tell me, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, unboxing this crap and whatever. And um, I'll try and do more stuff in the same way or if I can change something or do something better. Right now I don't have a lot of space. If you've seen my last couple videos, I use the same little tiny, or not tiny, but little space at least of a desk to do these videos. Um, but that's it for the review. Uh, go out and get it. If you've liked Tales of Funny, there's no reason to at least get the uh, standard version right here. Go ahead and get this. This is 40 bucks. I know that they'll cut this in price or you'll be able to get for even cheaper and soon. So they always cut game prices cheap. So, or after weeks of release. So check them out. Uh, yeah, tell us if any rocks. See you guys. Bye bye.